Hi there, this is our second video in our series on decoding the tic-tac-toe board game. Now in our last video, we learned how this formula was applied to each of these cells down here to indicate when we had a winning combination. Okay, so in this case, as an example here, in row 6, we have a winning combination and therefore E6 will indicate that with a Y. Now, what we want to understand in this video is how this formula was able to not only indicate that we have a winner, but to indicate which winner it is, whether it's player O or player X. And so what we use here is a nested if function. Now, a nested if function, which is shown right here, looks scary. Um, it's not. It's a nested if function will place one or more if functions within the first to test additional conditions. So in other words, we can increase the flexibility of the if function by including more if functions within the first. We're nesting it. So what I'm going to show you now is the same formula here, but I create spaces so we can visually see how this function works. So let's start here. If cell E6, which is here, is Y, then return the text player followed by D6, which is O, wins. So that's why what we see here is player O wins because it's reading the first line of our if function. Now the reason we need more if statements, in other words, a nested if function, is this is not the only combination that would result in a winner. Any of these here, if they return a Y, that would mean we have a winner. So let's say in this case, if we test the second condition here with E7, if we have three X's here, then we know that the cell E7 will return a Y. And at that point, this function nested within the first function, this if function here will indicate if E7 is Y, which it is, then it would show a player plus D7, which is X, wins. So that's why we, again, have the correct result, which is player X wins. And so on and so forth. So we can apply it to each of these conditions here. That way, whenever, it doesn't matter which winning condition or combination, you have already have it expressed within this formula so that the appropriate result will come up here. So let's do an, a diagonal example. If we had in this case x, 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 again very appropriately we have the y coming up here in cell A9 and so what we have here in that last nested if function we have if A9 is y, which it is, then indicate that player, this is a text now, player plus B8, B8 is an x, player x wins. Now the final element of this if function is these two quotation marks which indicate a blank. So if none of these hold true, in other words, if there are no winning combinations, none of these eight combinations hold true, in other words, all these are ends, then return a blank. And so as you see here, we see a blank. So that is it, folks. What you've learned here is you've learned how to understand how to create a tic-tac-toe board game. You have understand the essence, what went into constructing this particular spreadsheet. And just as a quick rehash, the important elements that were used include the if function, and by default we have the nested if function as shown here, you also learned the AND function and the OR function, which all belong in the logical function family. Okay, so feel free, check out those particular videos, get a good grasp, and then use those skills to go ahead and create your own tic-tac-toe board game. We'll see you next time.